Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Melanie back with Melanie Loves Death Metal. Uh, back from my spring break vacation. Had a bunch of stuff in the mail today when we got back. Um, so I'm going to show off half of it today, some of it tomorrow. I'll try to spread out the videos and not make them too long. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started because like I said, I've got quite a bit to show today. So the first package I got was from Verminosis, which is a label slash distro. I uh, saw that he posted on Instagram last week that he had a copy of this and I grabbed it as fast as I possibly could because it was pretty much sold out everywhere else. Um, was hoping I can get the vinyl. I think they can still find the vinyl other places, but I just grabbed this. Wanted to support. Um, but yeah, anyway, probably one of the best death metal albums to come out so far this year, and that is Dipigus or Dipigus. <laughs> Bush metal, bush meat. She's almost said bush metal. Um, yeah, I mean, if you don't know this stuff, it's it's really good. I think this is her second full length. Uh, came out fairly recently, within the last month, I believe. Um, pretty much, death metal uh, has some really good riffs, really good soloing, uh, great vocals. Uh, it comes on this cool uh, blue tape. Um, has a nice slip cover as you can see. Uh, and then the J card is pretty neat too. I really like the actual uh, cover art for that. So yeah, um, pretty new to this band. Uh, first time I've ever heard them. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is their second full length. Uh, really good. I would say it's, you know, it's, it's death metal. It's, it's, primitive death metal, I guess you could say. Uh, not in the sense of like Sepultura, but uh, you know, um, in that like the elements and in the, the like overall um, theme of the of the album, I guess you could say. Uh, really good. Sat down and listened to this twice today. Um, like I said, I think this will probably be on a lot of people's year-end lists. Uh, one of the best death metal albums to come out so far this year. So yeah, check this out if you haven't. Um, I'll post where I got it, uh, but I think there's a couple other distros that still might have uh, at least a vinyl. Um, but I'm, I, the tapes have been hard for me to come by. So, yeah, so that was the first package I was excited about. Uh, the next one comes directly from Dark Descent. This was a Bandcamp Friday pickup. Um, Blood Incantation. <laughs> Just going to call it out right there, Star Spawn. Uh, so, for anybody that doesn't know me, I'm a huge Blood Incantation fan. Uh, they're one of my favorite bands. Uh, I think there are a lot of people's favorite bands. Um, I have all their albums on vinyl, uh, but I've been slowly getting tapes as I can find them. So Bandcamp Friday, they popped this up there saying they had a couple of copies. Um, sorry, my dog's walking around shaking and stuff. Um, and yeah, I, this is, I don't have this on tape yet. Uh, I have Hidden History. Uh, that's, pretty, that's the only one on tape actually now. So yeah, I grabbed this as fast as I could. Pretty sure they're sold out now, um, but yeah, they, they don't repress these very often uh, that I know of. So yeah, this was a really good pickup. I was really happy to get this. Uh, like I said, I don't typically buy a lot of bands on different media, um, but if they're my favorite band, I, I'll try to collect as much as I could. So that was Star Spawn. And then lastly, a tape that I got was in a package uh, with a bunch of vinyl as well. So. I'll show the vinyl directly after this, but it, it is a package from uh, Rotted Life. If you're not familiar with Rotted Life, you should be because some of the best death metal albums have been released on that label. Um, I went on their uh, band camp the other day, literally like four or five days ago, actually, now that I think about it, it was relatively recent. I uh, saw they had a bunch of stuff still available, some stuff that I've been wanting for a while and I just grabbed it because it's stuff I listen to all the time on streaming, I was like, why not have it on physical format? So the first thing I got was a tape, and this is Pustulence. I believe this is a, an EP, EP demo, I don't know, whatever. So it comes with a really cool slip cover, Pustulence. Um, the birth of the beginning before the inception of the end. Uh, those long album names kill me. But yeah, Rotted, Rotted Life. Um, there's the original album cover comes on this really nice yellow pro printed tape and then the J card is fairly simple so yeah this is a really good uh, EP I guess you could say it's, it's four songs um, just really good death metal uh, some of the, some really good stuff I think this just came out fairly recently 
within the last couple months, I believe. I can't remember. I'll, I'll post it in the description as always. Uh, so grab this while they still have it. Um, I think they were running low on this. So this was the tape that I got. And then we'll move on to the vinyl. So the vinyl is three albums that I've been sleeping on. Uh, like I said, been listening to on streaming platforms, uh, but didn't get it on any physical media until now. So the first one in my package was Pestilent Death with their album Chapters of Depravity. So if you're not familiar with Pestilent Death, well, you should be because they're, they're fantastic. Uh, so this is a collaboration between Blood Harvest and Rotted Life. Comes with a nice little OB strip on here. And then vinyl, it's fairly simple. Uh, that awesome artwork, I think that's Mark Riddick actually now that I think about it. Let me see if it says, I believe I'm correct about that. Uh, it's just plain black vinyl, so I'm not gonna bother pulling out. Stickers are pretty normal. Uh, nothing special about the stickers. Um, and then there is an inner sleeve. Let's see if it says, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. On the back maybe? It doesn't. Well, maybe it's not Mark Reddick. I, I might be completely wrong. Uh, but yeah, just solos or solos. Lyrics is what I meant to say. Picture of the band. So yeah, that was first vinyl in the box. Uh, this is really good. Really good old school sounding death metal. Um, and I believe this is their release from last year. I can't remember. It I don't remember. But they have, I think they have like a, an EP out right now that they just released. It's like two songs. Um, so yeah, this is really good. Definitely check this out. I was really happy that they still had copies of this. Uh, Cause again, like I said, I've been listening to this on uh, Spotify, uh, Bandcamp. And then I finally just pulled the trigger when I saw they had copies of it. So definitely pick this up if you have not, it's, it's worth, it's worth the buy. The next one is, again, I still have no idea how I don't have this in my collection yet because this is a fantastic album. I believe it's from 2018. Um, I, there were so many albums that came out that year that I just, this one just kind of fell through the cracks, unfortunately, but that is Coffin Rot with their latest, uh, A Monument to the Dead. Actually, this might be the one that just came out with the new EP. I think they're on Maggot Song now. I can't remember. I can't keep up, but yeah. So this is their 2018 release again with Blood Harvest, uh, OB Strip on here. Um, just pull it out really quick. It's on plain black vinyl, but it's got cool stickers. Cool stickers. Um, nothing crazy. They do have color variants, but I didn't see any in stock on Bandcamp, but I think you can still find these in distros around, uh, around, I think, uh, Blood Harvest probably still has some on their website. Uh, I just didn't feel like waiting on the shipping and wanted to buy directly from Rotted Life. Uh, it's definitely a label that I don't buy enough from, uh, and they have a lot of great albums. Um, so yeah, this was one that I finally decided to get after years of listening to it and not having it on any physical media. So a whole filler, I guess you could say. But yeah. Great album. I love that artwork too. Some it's a great artwork. I'm also I'm filming on my iPad because my iPhone doesn't have enough storage and I didn't feel like cleaning it out. Um, but I am getting a new phone on Monday. It's it's in the mail right now. With a lot more storage, a better camera, all that fun stuff. So I have to deal with a crappy iPad for now. Um all right, the last one in the box that I got was another one uh that I've been listening to for quite a bit. Uh this came out last year or two years ago, 2019. Uh, and this is Cryptic Brood with their full length of, what is this called? I always forget the names of them. Outcome of Obnoxious Science. <laughs> so yeah, really good death metal album. Um, these three albums that I just showed right now are probably some of my favorite albums in recent years. I'm definitely planning on doing a video of like my favorite death metal albums from the past three, four years because they're still heavily in my rotation. Uh, so the artwork is really cool. It, it looks like it's like on a canvas, as if it was came straight from painting canvas. Uh, and obviously the band's on their side. It's a really nice gatefold with more awesome artwork. Uh, so yeah, this is a really nice, really nice quality vinyl. This is a fantastic album. Again, just, you know, death metal at its finest, plain stickers, uh, black, black vinyl. Um, again, if, if, 
if the album's available on vinyl, I'll buy it. I don't care if it's a color or a black variant. Whatever's available, I grab. Um, and then, come on, inner sheet. And then, fairly simple inner sheet. Just uh, pictures and lyrics. Nothing, nothing crazy. So, that was my massive fall from Rotted Life. Uh, I'm officially feeling like I need to catch up on this label and add more <laughs> to my collection. So, I'm probably going to go take a peep next week. Um, or who am, I, who am I kidding? Like after this video, I'm sure. Uh, and see what else I still have. Um, this actually looks like it was also a collaboration with Terror of Hell Records as well. So, yeah, really good stuff. Again, these last three albums that I showed have probably been some of my favorite death metal albums in recent years. I listened to a heavy rotation, uh, and I definitely think if you have not checked these out, you should because they're phenomenal. So, yeah. All right, so that was my Ride at Life haul. I have two more vinyl to show you. Um, I will start with this one. So I showed this a couple videos ago, uh, and when I pulled it out, I realized it was the wrong color variant. Um, Message Season Mist and said, hey guys, I, I ordered the red variant. Uh, responded to me in 20 minutes, said, all right, cool. We'll send you the, the correct variant. Sorry about that. Um, should be there in a couple of days. Literally two days later, it was on my doorstep. Um, so unfortunately, I was gone when this came in, but that is Immortals, uh, Diabolical, Full Moon, Mysticism. Um, so yeah, like I said, I showed this a, a couple of videos ago, um, but I just wanted to quickly show you the color of the vinyl because it's phenomenal. So if you're thinking about buying these represses, it's a really nice red, like a translucent red. Uh, so red's my favorite color. <laughs> Um, so if there's a vinyl that's on red, I will typically buy that. Uh, so red, silver, uh, and green are like my three favorite color vinyl variants. Um, fits really good in the gatefold. Uh, so yeah, that was that one. And then a nice gatefold, uh, artwork, lyrics. Um, I listened to this today. Sounds great. These represses are really nice. Uh, I believe Season Mist still has a lot of these left. So definitely go over there, check them out. They have great customer service, really great label. I just ordered a bunch of stuff from them this week. I have a couple, a lot of things coming, so I'm excited to show about it, especially some stuff that comes out this Friday. So that was that. And then finally, Bandcamp Friday purchase finally came in the mail. A repress that I have been waiting years for. This is one of my favorite bands right now. Um, don't really give a shit what people think about them. I just don't care. Uh, it's not going to change my mind about them. Um, but yeah, this is Uwada, or Uwada, however the hell you say them. <laughs> I don't know how to say the official name. Uh, this is their second release, Cult of a Dying Sun. So they repressed this one. They repressed Devoid the Light. And then obviously Jin came out last year, which was my favorite album last year. Atmospheric black metal. Um, a lot of people say it sounds like Magua. I, whatever. I think it's great. It's one, like I said, it's one of my favorite bands. I listen to these albums all the time. Um, was not able to pick up a vinyl pressing of this under $100 because they hadn't repressed them. And then finally, last band, Camp Friday, they announced that these were repressed and I, I snagged them both. So I got this one first. The other one is still on the way. So that'll be in another video. Comes on this really nice gatefold of the band. I believe the original pressing of this came with a cardstock slipcover like Jin did um so I think that's this but whatever the slipcover is not a big deal to me it's a double vinyl on this really nice silver variant uh it's got like this swirl in the middle it's kind of hard to see on the iPad unfortunately uh so yeah I rave about this band all the time I think they're phenomenal I like I said one of my favorite bands at the moment I listened to this album so many times just especially when i first ever heard it my favorite song in the album just um, the whole thing is good but my favorite song on the album is um sphere imprisonment uh so second to last there's a solo in this song that is just gets me every time <laughs> emotional gives me chills uh yeah so this is just it's an amazing album um is it my favorite out of three Probably, because uh, it's the first one I ever heard. So, but yeah, it comes with this really nice lyric booklet, like all of their pressings do. Uh, I won't show them all, but really nice, really nice quality pressings. Uh, Eisenwald, this is on Eisenwald, by the way. I forgot to call that out. Um, 
and then come on. And then it comes with a poster, which I am probably gonna hang now uh, of the band. Uh, so Jin also comes with a really cool poster uh, of them, like pretty much in space. Looks really cool. Um, so yeah, I was really excited. Go in there. Come on. Uh, of course, you're not gonna go in there when I'm doing this on a <laughs> camera. It worked perfectly fine before. There you go. So yeah, I was really happy that I finally had this in my collection. Uh, I've been on the hunt for it for a couple of years now. I think this came out in 2017, 2018, 2018, I believe. So a couple of years now, I've been waiting for this to be repressed. I, I slept on, on the vinyl. Uh, it might've been because it was expensive. Uh, Eisenwald is over in Germany uh, and the shipping was astronomical, but this came directly from the band who is out of Portland, I believe. I believe they're from Portland. So yeah, shipping was normal. Grabbed this as soon as I could, and I, from what I could see, they were pretty much almost sold out. Uh, so yeah, fantastic album. Again, I've heard some complaints about this band that they're ripping off Magua, whatever, I don't fucking care. I think they're phenomenal. You should check them out if you have not. Uh, again, atmosphere of black metal, but not lo-fi. It's great production, amazing, amazing guitar riffs. Just, I love Jake's vocals, they're raspy and... And yeah, lyrics are great. Everything is just phenomenal about this band, in, in my opinion. <laughs> um, that's it. That's all I have. Um, like I said, I got a bunch of other stuff in the mail too, but I didn't want to make a huge, like, 40 minute long video. I wanted to break them up. Uh, so I'll have, probably have another one tomorrow, another one by the, by the end of the week. Um, happy to be back. And just one more thing. Uh, thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed to me this last week. I gained over 100 subscribers in a week. And my mind has just been completely blown. <laughs> like, it's hard to believe that that many people want to listen to me talk right now. Um, and I have to thank Marty Worm and Brain Smasher, Ben. Uh, they had me on a live stream last Friday. Um, was on there for three hours. Talked metal. Was a really good time. I will link it in the description. Pop over there, subscribe to their channels. Uh, they, a bunch of other YouTubers joined. I'll link them too. Um, but again... Thank you so much for all the support. I really appreciate it. I've been trying to catch up and read comments and, and got a little overwhelmed. But again, uh, and if you're on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. My link is in the bio somewhere on here because uh, I post my collection stuff pretty much every day. Thank you guys.